What's up guys, it's Jacob here from Batting Practice. Just beforehand we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know what we're doing here. So, essentially we made it easy enough for my dad, or So Rare I guess made it easy enough for my dad to sign up for So Rare. And that's what we're doing. We're going through the simple processes of what to do for a new user. So easy that even my dad can do it. Sorry dad, just kind of taking shots there. But yeah, we signed up pretty simply and did the MLB common draft and now we have a team built for him as well as ourselves and we're going to show the world how easy it is to do so. So let us know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns in the comment section below. Otherwise you can subscribe for more content like this. Check out our main podcast and use our affiliate link if you haven't yet signed up for SoRare. All the good stuff in the description below but I will see you guys probably in a few days on the podcast. All right. Okay, he's in. Choose your sport. Well, Uncle Johnny, do you which which of the sports do you know the most about? <laughs> Baseball. There hey. you go. All right. So to start your so rare MLB journey here, the next ERA era. Ooh, like earn run Ooh. average era or era era. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Both. Your next era is yours. Draft your new set of common cards for season two. Get started. Let's yeah, let's get started. That was very easy for a new user to sign up. Like, yeah. and then out of these positions, you're going to be playing per game week, one starter, one relief, which is interesting. You only get to draft one. Yeah, that's interesting. To begin with. So that's going to be your set guy, no matter what. Um, you're going to be playing one corner, one mid, one outfielder, and then a flex and a flex that can also involve a pitcher. Yeah, because it's okay. we play seven cards and we're drafting ten cards. And we're drafting ten, correct? Yeah. Yep. So each position you're gonna have to budget for twelve points a piece on average. So it right. looks like I don't know where they came up with these budget points from, because Degrom, Otani, their averages are all way higher than twenty. Verlander, mm -hmm. Scherzer. Hey guys, me again. Just wanted to quick point out that when I say averages, it's not the number you see here, but rather their average points scored over their last 15 games played. So for example, Verlander. I have him on my team. I have his card and his average over the last 15 games is 27 points. So I'm assuming there is a scoring system where they can relate the points that they score to this dynamic changing point system for your draft. So I will point out, like I said, it is dynamic. These numbers will be changing over the season depending on scores. But for now, this is what it's like. So the, the important decisions are going to likely come um, within the extra field as well as your flex. Because an extra is any hitter, whereas a flex is any player. So it could be a hitter or a pitcher. Um, so if you think a guy has... Uh, really good good game potential um, you know that that might be one where you'd play him over another starting pitcher and we can explain uncle johnny so do you see the the number below a player's name yeah like it's so really... that so that is the average number of points and the scoring is cumulative so for example um, if we look at julio rodriguez uh, he averaged nine points per game last year and this game week he has four games which means that we expect him to get uh 36 points so okay. uh so that's like a quick way to say like how many points do we expect and so the important thing is in just like espn fantasy baseball you have your game week and the stats are cumulative so the so rare mlb kind of has that same approach with with scoring as well so another another very important thing is the number of games. So right. for example, Julio has four games, whereas Ozzy Albies only has three. So if you had two guys with the same average, but one has more games, it's just it's exactly like um fan ESPN fantasy where you'll prioritize the guy that that just gets more playing time. Um, right. If in this case, if Otani is a dual position, you get both positions. I don't know why you wouldn't take him. Yep. Right. I, I think Otani, and especially if he's priced the same as the Grom and Scherzer, like, no offense to them, but like, well, you're literally not, getting two people, two positions. <laughs> and not only that, he's one more than, I mean, I was going to pick um, good old Sandy. 
I like him, but for a dollar more or a right more, whatever the number means, what does it mean? Points it or dollars? Points, dollars, you can call it. It's not like you're actually spending money, but points, I, I guess. It I says yeah. average per, it sure. doesn't, <laughs> it does, they don't call it anything. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here in the video, we took advantage of the auto pick button and submitted the rest of our team after picking a few solid players like Shohei Otani. Uh, we just wanted to see what the final screen was like, so here we are. We've submitted our team, and then we clicked play ball, and our common draft was good to go. Now, there are different common drafts for new users versus uh, current users. So Andrew and myself are playing in common all-star while my dad is playing in more of a pickup style version of the common game. So that is pretty much it for this video. It is just that easy to sign up for So Rare with a little bit of tidbits from us as we were recording it live. We have another video coming out with FAQs from my dad and what it's like to sign up as a new user and also a 57 year old. You didn't hear that from me on the internet. But, again, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments section below, and I'll see you guys down in that video. Stay tuned.